Today, I will get extremely close to the human eye. I will take images capturing most detailed possible of the iris. In this video, I will show you how to take those images beyond one-to-one -one magnification and how to clean them up. It is really not too difficult, but you have to be aware of a few important issues. And that's why I created this video, sharing my experiences with everyone so that you can recreate those images. One of the most important things in iris photography is to shoot at the low ISO. I will also tell you how to create a professional look of your image afterwards. And I will also introduce the Reynolds DCR250, which doubles the magnification of your lens, which is incredibly important for this kind of photography. Well, and then there's motion blur. The eyes are moving, the head is moving, the camera is shaking. This is a really big problem because we have to shoot at low shutter speeds. I will give you a couple of tips how to get rid of this problem. So, the solution might sound pretty simple. We have to shoot at fast shutter speeds. We need a large field of depth, so we close the aperture. We need a high resolution, so we take our 24 plus megapixel camera. And of course, we shoot always at ISO 100. But this won't gonna happen. Reality looks like this. When we use those settings, we're shooting at an ISO of 10,000 to 50,000, which completely ruins our image. So what's the solution here? Let's take a closer look on this footage. Do you have an idea why the eye is out of focus and moving around? Well, the answer is that Christina is not pressing her head against the wall. Because we're shooting macro at the magnification of 2 to 1, the field of depth is extremely small. So we have to fix the eye, which is actually impossible. So we have to fix the head instead. Oh my god, this looks just so much better. And it is so simple. Just look for a corner in your room and fix the head. Now we can take images at a low shutter speed and low ISOs, which is incredible for the detail. Pretty decent result. Let's take a closer look on the settings I used. Let's clean up the image a little bit. For this, there are no Photoshop skills needed. Every improvement is done in Premiere Pro. I put a link for you into the description. And I really think this kind of images are a really good present. What do you think? Another friend of me was kind enough to share his blue eye. This allowed me to capture even more incredible footage. And this was also a great opportunity for me to test the new DCR250. Actually, it is not new, but it is new for me to get as much detail and close-up footage as possible. So let's switch from 1 to 1 magnification to 2 to 1 magnification. The difference is really... I have no words. Would you have thought that the human eye looks like this in an extreme close-up situation? This really blew my mind. Let's change the angle a little bit. I was hoping to get another unique perspective of the iris. Well, the perspective is unique, but because of the shape and the spherical glass optics of the eye, there are some distractions and you lose a lot of detail. The best image can be taken when you switch the position of your torch to the side. Then all those shadows will appear and the structure of the iris will be revealed. And changing the position will create this cool iris closing effect. This is a side-by-side -side comparison between the 90mm macro lens at 1 to 1 magnification and when it's combined with the Reynox DCR250. Talking about details, this got a huge impact on your image. But this is only possible when you got a strong light source. Neither a great camera nor the most expensive lens will produce a good result. The most important thing is the lighting here. I would really recommend to use a light like this because you can focus the light and shoot at even lower ISO numbers. It's just 20 bucks, I think that's a fair price. Otherwise you can of course use the flash of your smartphone for example. This will work as well, but maybe the ISO will be a little bit higher. But you can fix that when you get very close with your smartphone to your eye. This is my favorite clip. This just looks so cool. Oh by the way, this is my iris. It does not show as much detail as the blue or the brown eye, but of course I needed to know how my iris will look in close-up. And then I mounted the Raynox adapter to my lens and took this image. Sorry if I did confuse you, I did not use a flash. 
taking images from the side did not work that well. Because of the small field of that I had to close the aperture even more, getting a little bit of noise in my image. Do you have any questions? I took hundreds of images the last days and tons of video footage. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a comment below. And if you're not interested in videos like this, that's fine. Just tell me what you'd like to see next. Maybe you are the reason for the next video. I hope you liked the video. If you did, I'd really appreciate if you pushed that like button. Have a good day and hopefully see you next week.